Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, September 21st, 2023. Let's take a look at the Forex economic calendar today. The main events of today are the interest rate uh, decision. As you can see, the Swiss National Bank interest rate decision will uh, take uh, place at 9.30 and the market participants expect the hike from 1.75 to 2%. Uh, 30 minutes later, Swiss National Bank press conference is scheduled. The other interest rate decision is from the Bank of England and it's scheduled for release at 1 o'clock. This time, uh, the market participants expect a hike from 5.25% to 5.5%. Uh, Bank of England inflation letter will be scheduled, will be released at the level of uh, at the, um, uh, half past uh, one. So it's scheduled for release at half past one. And then we got uh, the other uh, data, Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index, uh, initial jobless claims. Both of these events are scheduled for release at half past two and existing home sales are scheduled for release at four o'clock. GDP from the New Zealand uh, was released overnight already and the GDP beats the expectations of 0.5% uh, with actual reading of 0.9% which is even better than the previous reading of 0%. So because of the interest rate decision, those are the main events of today. Let's take a look at uh, the British pound and the Swiss uh, franc pairs. British pound versus the US dollar uh, situation on the for our chart is uh, right now uh, bearish and as you can see the market reverses all of the uh, previous gains as uh, mm, uh, the uh, interest rate decision is approaching. Moreover, um, the yesterday's uh, interest rate decision by Fed had a great impact on the all of the US dollar related pairs. So what do we have uh, here? The market is positioning itself uh, ahead of the uh, interest rate decision. We got the intraday technical resistance to 1.2423. Uh, we got the um, one more technical resistance, a little bit lower, uh, located 1.2332. And the last uh, technical um, uh, support uh, is located at swing low. 1.2303 so if we zoom out we can clearly see that this level here uh, violated the technical mm, support important technical support which is located at 1.2307 it's only four pips but this is the uh, the last technical support uh, from long term te te technical support from the uh, may 2023 so right now the interest rate the the rate of the B british pound is on the lowest level since uh, three months or even longer maybe even uh, four or five months uh, so um, yeah four months mm, almost half of the year so uh, right now um, as you can see uh, here on the four hour chart we are in a very very special place because if there is no bounce to the upside then of course the, the market will deteriorate even further lower momentum is already very weak momentum is already below the level of 50 uh, it is clear that the bulls don't have enough strength to break above this uh, level of 50 on the rsi and sustain the breakout every time it happens then it does move is uh, shortly reversed so it looks like this market is under the very very um big pressure from the uh, supply uh, side only a sustained breakout above one point uh, 2423 would uh, reverse the situation would change the outlook to more bullish but it would be considered as a uh, upside correction uh, in during the downtrend so that's the british pound to the american dollar let's now take a look at the us dollar to the swiss franc this is a very interesting pair because we are going to have the interest rate decision uh, of the swiss national bank today and the yesterday's fed interest rate decision was made uh, as well so as you can see in this situation uh, we've made a low at uh, 8548 in July 2026 then in the end of the July we repeat this uh, level we hit this level and tested it so this is the key technical uh, key technical uh, support right now in the long term so let's just place this line here then we went higher and tested almost tested the 
high from the uh, this is the high from the the end of the June 2023 so again we can clearly see uh, let me just change the color for red so there is no doubt what we are talking about here so this is of course the technical resistance this is the target for the bulls right now um there is a very strong uptrend here even this despite the recent bounce in the momentum and in the price we recover this uh, this bounce very very uh, very very quickly um and the market recovered from the the losses and there was a bullish engulfing and then a confirmation and now we are approaching the key uh, technical uh, resistance we keep trading above the uh, 150 periods uh, moving average uh, momentum is strong it's at the level of 60 so it's still it still shows us that the situation with the us dollar is very strong the us dollar strengthened all across the uh, board the us dollar is being bought swiss franc is being sold however if there is a hike today by the swiss national bank we might see some sort of the uh, correction coming to this market after this uh, target level is of course hit so please prepare uh, for another uh, movement here another violet day on the uh, on the markets uh, two major pairs like british pound and user to the swiss franc uh, are very very mm, susceptible to any behavior to any movements to any uh, kind of uh, uh, news related to the uh, especially interest rate decision of swiss uh, or central bank uh, decisions okay so we should expect today uh, this uh, d d d this range that we are see seeing right now on the on the chart might not be maintained uh, during the day i just uh, i just put some some uh, small uh, demand zone 8931 8943 uh, on the four hour chart of the us dollar to the swiss franc it might be helpful to see how this range will behave during and shortly after the uh, interest rate decision if it's violated then we're testing 100 periods moving average and maybe even let me just uh, mark one more very important technical support maybe even 8,894 this level might be uh, tested as uh, well <clears throat> okay so that's the swiss franc to the uh, us dollar to the swiss franc let's now find out what's going on with the new zealand dollar because the new zealand dollar uh, had already its data released so let me just uh, put uh, new zealand dollar to the us dollar and we should expect some sort of the deterioration lower on this market there you go so uh, new zealand dollar to the uh, to the american dollar m went lower uh, and it didn't actually uh, hit this uh, target level no it didn't 6001 uh, is not uh, is not hit and the higher level at 6009 is still not hit and we got another technical resistance after the bearish and gaffing uh, candlestick pattern was made 5980 so right now we are testing or we are breaking below this short-term trend line support so it's roughly yeah we are sitting roughly at this line so we are testing it and in a case of a breakout we got this uh, technical support uh, to provide some sort of the relief for the uh, for the um uh, bulls 5889 5875 uh, and then of course the key technical support 5857 uh, the momentum reversed from the extremely overbought conditions to the back down below the level of 50 right now it's 43 uh, points only so uh, e, despite the fact that gdp was better than expected the market reversed uh, and uh, everyone is selling the uh, new zealand dollar and buying us dollar all across the uh, board the last thing we, we would like to see is the reaction of the uh, s p 500 the american stock market so let's just take a look at the spx yesterday as you can see very very big red candle was made after the interest rate decision was made by the fed so uh, the abc movement to the upside was uh, basically the the correct one so we are still trending uh, inside of the uh, upside correction 
and uh, right now what do we see here is the technical support that might be the target for the bears 4336 and the other level is 4356 the uh, the other level uh, located at uh, 4000 and uh, 430 will act as the technical resistance and one more level uh, yesterday's uh, low uh, here 4416 will act as the technical resistance uh, as well so very very uh, uh clear situation for the bears the market is under the bearish uh, pressure i think we've broke below this trend line already yes we broke below the trend line already so every f and we are below the 50 and 100 periods moving average so it's clear as the sun that the outlook remains bearish for the s p 500 thank you very much for watching this analysis that's all for me and see you guys tomorrow take care and bye bye